Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Build Tune Race. We are going to be working on the S10 today. April's out here helping. She uh, She's going to help me do some of the work because she wants to do some burnouts in it, right? So, going to put her to work on it. So we're going to work on cleaning out all the leaves on this thing. And then... Uh, Got a bunch of parts of the bed with a bunch of leaves and junk and then a bunch of stuff on the inside like this old uh, CD player and lights and wires and all sorts of crap. So we're trying to get it in place here where I want it and then start cleaning it all out so then we can pull the engine and transmission out of it. I already ordered engine mounts, gonna get a transmission crossover mount coming from Motion Raceworks and we're gonna get on this thing, try to get the engine and transmission in it as quick as possible to kind of look at some mock-up stuff and see what's gonna work and what's not. I've been going back and forth on the rear end. I might just try to weld it up for now until it breaks and then put something beefier in. A lot of people say do the 8.8s. Eight um, a really good thing would be a 9-inch. I could do the same 9 inches like what's in the Mazda and Salty, have a center section that swaps in between the two. But we're gonna go ahead and get started on cleaning this thing out. This is April's favorite place in the garage, right by the heater, where it stays nice and warm. But we have insulated the shop and it's much better. Still got a few things to finish up here uh, but for the most part, it's, it's insulated, so it's definitely a lot better to work in here now. Another thing I'm going to have to check on the S10, uh, I was reading on the forms, and most likely the V6 automatic trucks come with 308 gear. So that's not a bad gear uh, to start out with. That actually worked out pretty good. So we might try that. Um, that with a Power Glide 26 to 27 inch tall tires, blah, 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 ends up being like 170 to 190. A uh, mile per hour worth of wheel speed. Trying to figure out what works better. Uh, screwdriver and some air to knock some of the stuff out. A bunch of dirt and everything up in here. And then we got to throw a bunch of stuff away there. And then move on to back here. But we're trying everything with air. The vacuum doesn't work all that great. Some of you just got to pick out by hand. Probably use the vacuum to reach down in here. We'll try everything. So I went through, cleaned out all this. Looks like they kept a... Uh, all the bolt body bolts in here so that's a good thing and to go ahead and put those in a little bag for later and uh got some even some little extra wiring and then also a whole bunch of sockets were in here so got a little tool set with the deal plenty of leaves in the bed too we ended up pulling all the stuff out of the bed setting it here so front fender that one's not in bad shape grill doesn't seem to be broken bumpers fairly straight uh, this fender has a few little dings in it, but otherwise fairly straight, so not too bad. Just trying to get through uh, all little pieces and parts. Seems like most of it's here, though. The uh, back of the bed's all done. Going to uh, go ahead and set some of the stuff back in there. Just got a little bit of leaves to clean out of this fender. And then I think we've done enough shuffling to get it all kind of cleaned up and ready to start pulling the engine out. So after three bags of trash, a set of sockets, a whole bunch of bolts, a knife, a flip out screen, this is actually a pull out screen deal, and then a whole bunch of leaves and cleaning that out. And then we got like the HID lights and little grills and everything cleaned up all the stuff in here for the most part, kind of try to wipe down the windshield a little bit. To get ready for this to come out so i needed to be able to get to the motor mounts and the tranny mount and everything i think can we try to unhook them together and pull them straight out the front i believe that would be doable by this configuration since the front end's already off so i know we had a bunch of people ask uh, if we had everything so yeah i mean driver pasture fenders grill bumpers in there even these are in there which i don't think i'm going to use because again trying to build the zoomies that's uh, going to be tight but try to come over Somehow sneak them down through there. I don't know, maybe two on the inside of the frame, two on the out, and then end up coming out right about here with them. I think that'll be sick. All right, everyone, so that'll be it. April and I are done for the night. We're gonna go ahead and end it there. But let us know in the comments below the random stuff that you have found in vehicles you've worked on. Thanks everybody for watching. See you in the next video.